everyone, I'd like to address some things before we get started. Uh, <laughs> why do I look like this? Well, I am going to be doing cosplay for the first ever time. Well, not, I'd say not first ever time, but like the first official time that I'm putting in a lot of work, investing in it, buying stuff for it. Like a little while back, I would say maybe two years ago, I did, I made my own OC. Um, basically, it was like a voodoo kind of, and I made like a, a hat made out of cardboard and a plastic trash bag <laughs> and some paper. And that was like my OC kind of thing. Um, it was okay. <laughs> it didn't look terrible, but the... The effort wasn't all there just because, one, I didn't have money back then that much because I didn't have a job. I believe back then I didn't have my job yet. Yeah. And two, I just wasn't really into cosplay and wasn't super wanting to get into it. Therefore, I didn't put in a lot of effort. I just kind of wanted to do something fun, you know. That was also when I was kind of going through the e-girl phase. And I kind of just dressed up like an e-girl, did the hearts and all that, and just... <laughs> I still kind of... People would think I look like an e-girl now. I feel like people might think I still look like an e-girl, based on the way I dress, my hair, and all that. But I don't like going by e-girl just because I went through the superly, super e-girly phase, so... It's just, it's just my style. I call it alternative. But, you know, call it what you want. Some people call it goth. Some people, I don't know. You know, I just call it alternative or streetwear. Either one. So, anyway. I've wanted to do cosplay for, like, the longest time ever. And I just never got into doing it because, one, <clears throat> because one of my weight, I felt like, couldn't cosplay certain characters and um, I would only be able to cosplay like the fatter characters the chubbier characters you know and then two because not four two because my skin color is kind of it's pretty <laughs> but it is a little darker I wish I were lighter but there's nothing I do about that um everyone says they love my skin tone I'm wearing foundation, by the way, so you can't really judge upon my skin tone, but, you know. And, uh, my mom always says she likes my skin color, and I was like, I wish I were more like my mom because she has freckles, and she's a lot whiter because she's white, obviously, and, no, that's not the case. <laughs> I'm not white. But yeah, I don't know why, I just never really liked my skin color, and I would always have like weird discoloration, and I didn't like that about myself. And you know what, this is just how it be sometimes. But I was like, you know what, forget it, and I've, I've seen like a lot of people saying like, oh, it doesn't really matter about your skin color or weight, don't let people tell you that you can't cosplay, and I was like, you know what, I think this is my calling, I think I need to start. So, here we are. I'm starting to cosplay. Um, if it looks bad, please, please, please don't talk badly about me or make fun of me or just think I'm dumb. And don't like call me cringy for wanting to start cosplay because you know what? One day I might just pop off on you and then get famous off of it and then look amazing and then you're just gonna be there and like wanting an autograph. That probably won't happen, <laughs> but you never know. Don't hate on people, let them do what they want, okay? Plus this whole quarantine has me acting up. I like did my, I plucked all of my eyebrows, shaved my face, plucked all my hairs, and I was just like, I was just doing everything. And so I was like, you know what? I need to start doing something cool, something fun, something to put my passion into. So I decided to nosedive into cosplay. 
I have a lot of mutuals, friends that do cosplay. I don't, I don't know if they would be considered friends, but they are mutuals. Um, I don't talk to them a bunch, but, you know, I know a lot of people and they know me. And I'm just so inspired by them. So, yeah, here we are. So, I already have my eyebrows done, my face done, and I made this, by the way. I didn't make the lace, and I didn't make this part, <laughs> but I just kind of attached it together. Uh, I already forgot what it was. But this, these clear strips that have, like, hooks on them, and you would place things on the wall, and I just kind of put it on here, and then I just attached it onto this, and it worked. I was like, oh. That was my mom's idea and it's working it's not coming off this thing is a little loose because it's a choker so it is going down because this thing is heavy it's made out of metal so you know my idea was to attach buttons onto it but it didn't work so mom's idea worked i made a crown and i styled a wig for the first time which i will post not um I add that into like a vlog kind of thing so you guys can see that and yeah and then this is gonna be the top for it so I know I've been talking a lot and I'm very sorry but for the review we're gonna be cosplaying Bouette which is a not real character kind of uh, it's a, I think it's a, called a fan-made character and she's really cute basically boo um from mario you know the little ghost guys uh but as a girl and she's really pretty and i'm just like uh, i need to be her i'm also going to be doing bowsette which is another fan made character i want to do chomp it and i want to do the piranha one i still don't know her name so if you know the name let me know but like i just want to do all those characters <laughs> And I want to do Marceline from Adventure Time. I was going to say Animal Crossing. And then Raven from Teen Titans. And that is all for now that I'm going to do. At least the known characters. Some of them you might not know. So, But yeah. I'm going to be doing my makeup today. So it's going to be fast just because I've been talking a bunch. But I just kind of wanted to show what I would be doing for my makeup. Like I said, primer, foundation on, uh, nothing on my face yet. My face is really shiny. Like, I don't have highlight or nothing. And I did my eyebrows, Anastasia Beverly Hill. Um, probably my new favorite product just because it's so easy to work with. <sighs> okay, but yeah, now we're going to get into the makeup. So... <laughs>
So I didn't have enough um, audio to work, whatever. So I'm here at work in the future. And I just wanted to do a little voiceover while I'm here. Um, my makeup was fairly simpler than I thought it would be. And it turned out super damn cute. And I really liked the way it turned out. I liked the, the way the cosplay turned out too. And as it being my first cosplay, I'm like extremely proud. And um, I kind of missed it, but I was just feeling myself. And I was like, oh my god, my hair looks so cute. And look how dirty my mirror is. Like, gross. <laughs> Anywho, so here's a close-up of the makeup. It's nothing too extra. I like this side better, not gonna lie. But I messed up on this. <laughs> but I like this cheek, and I don't like this cheek. So you want some, you lose some. I used this kind of like lipstick or lip gloss that turns into a lipstick for my lips. And I also used this lipstick a little. But then I went over with a clear gloss I make um, with my own business, by the way. Um, it's not really just a clear gloss. It's the clear gloss that on Wednesday, on Wednesdays we wear pink gloss where it's like the one with all the pretty butterflies in it. So it does look a little, it's not 100% clear, but I just kind of took the clear piece. And yeah, now we're gonna go downstairs. Um, but before, so I used my eyebrow, I'll just talk about it. So I used this eyebrow palette. It's, I don't even know what it's by anymore, to be honest. I think it's by Profusion for my cheeks and my chin. Normally I use it for my eyebrows, but I got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pomade in dark brown. And then I used my Wet n Wild Mega Liner. And I just got this, oops, wrong one. <laughs> a little while ago, yesterday, Maybelline New York Lasting Drama White Eyeliner Thingy. Light liner. For my under eyes. And then I just used... <laughs> Uh, leftovers from this pencil brush to go on my eyes. And then my face is the same as always. And I use this primer. Just in case anyone's interested. I don't know. If you want me to link stuff down below, I can. But if you don't, I understand. I'm recording, so no. Not right now. Do you know what time it is? No. It's 6.30. Do you know what time you have to go to work? No. 3.15. Fuck, I forgot I had work. <laughs> I don't look... Mm. I, don't even think it's, I don't even think it's a call out anymore. I think it's too less of a the time. They don't really care, but okay. I think it's, it's supposed to be two hours... That's not correct. Man. Oh. No. I wasn't. Future Jasmine here to report. I took off my makeup because I had to work. I did a couple TikToks, but you guys enjoyed the look. I am ready to the video. I'm going to post the full makeup look in another video, probably tomorrow, so you guys can see the whole video on what I'm talking about. Not just super fast, so you guys can enjoy that too.